Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Unavowed, where we are at this house that uh, has some sort of writing being written on this wall. Um, I don't, sorry, this window. I don't know if there's some ghosts or something going on here, but um, it's chucking it down with rain. So uh, we're going to have a look around. There's a rusty water tap here. Doesn't work. To the front of the house, we've been there and there wasn't a way in. Uh, we've got some roses which are flourishing, but that's about it. An upper floor window. <coughs> what does it say? Come on, just break it. Okay. So, looks like the ghost might be telling us to break the window. And actually, we do have the brick that we picked up last time, so... Yeah. Oh, no. You're tensing up. Keep your shoulders down. And center your weight on your heels. Okay. Let's have another go. Adjust our weight. Brick again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> The ghost is watching us. Oh, come on. You lack the necessary arm strength to hit your target. Well, to be fair, she has been possessed for a year. I doubt the demon spent time at the gym. It might have done. You lack the necessary arm strength as well, Eli. Oh. Uh, I know. Unlucky, Eli. Right, so if we both lack the arm strength... Hang on. Let's give it one more go. Um, and then if not, maybe we'll give it to Mandana and see if she can do it. Yeah, no. We, we... You lack the necessary arm strength to hit your target. Not to be fair. You... Okay, we'll skip that because we know that dialogue. Uh, right. Can we just give this to <coughs> to Mandana? I mean, hopefully we can't break the brick by doing this over and over again. Oop, where are we going? Understood. This should not pose a difficulty. Well, that's how it's done. <laughs> Straight it through. Was two inches left of center, but. Close enough. Yeah, good good throw. Fair play. Uh, we've got an achievement for that. Well thrown. <laughs> Mandana is slightly uh, smiling slightly to... Uh, blah, blah, blah. How do we get up here? Let me... Oh, she's just going to give us a boost. I wondered if we were going to use some sort of like magic trick. Ooh. Hi. You made it. Uh, who are you? What's going on here? How are you doing that? Who are you? I'm a ghost. Yeah, okay, so it is a ghost. A ghost. Woo! Smiley face. A ghost. How come I can't see you? Because I'm a ghost. Duh. This ghost has got a sense of humour. Please, hurry. Go this way. Okay. Well, first, ghost, we're going to have a look around in this place. Bits of crockery and cookware, nothing that you need right now. Uh, the note reads, please don't touch the quinoa. And the note reads, I made waffles. Enjoy A. So the person or somebody here has an initial beginning with A. So we'll have to remember that. Bright and, garni uh, bright and garish tea towels hang on the rack. Uh, more crockery. Oven mitts are quite colourful. Clock has stopped frozen at 3.30. Uh, oven mitts. Lots of oven mitts, it turns out. Ooh, a screwdriver. Can we pick that up? We can indeed. Um, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so I guess the screwdriver is probably going to come in handy at some point. We're being told to go this way, so let's go this way. Boo. <laughs> Very funny. I know. <laughs> Quick. You can unlock the door from this side this ghost is very helpful isn't it uh, a photo of a man and a car let's have a look at these photos oh, i wonder if this is the ghost interesting what's this one a woman and a dog oh, nice um picture of a face splattered with something that is probably red paint let's hope it is red paint uh anything over here doesn't look like it doesn't look like we can open these either so the front door the ghost said we can unlock it from here, and we there can. There you are. I heard you talking. Is someone in there? Perhaps we should enter and see for ourselves. Okay, well, let's, let's enter then, guys. Hi, guys. You made it. <laughs> this is really cool. I, I like Time this. Time for games is over. Identify yourself. All right, Mandana, chill. I mean... 
I'm KK. Okay. Why has the music got a bit sinister? She needs our help. KK? That's me. Really? You don't act like any ghost I've ever seen. I was thinking that. Not that I've seen any ghosts, but um, that's because I'm special. I'm a spirit guide. A ah. spirit guide? You mean you're bound to a spirit medium? One close by? Yes. He's upstairs. He needs help. Okay. Go, 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 go. All right, well, let's go upstairs. Let's uh, not hang around. Maybe someone's in danger up here or something. Who goes there? Uh, Mandy, it's just a plastic hula dance. <laughs> yes, of course it is. Apologies. I am on edge. There is a dark energy here that makes me uneasy. I really? End of the hall. Hurry. Okay, says tacky plastic hula girl. And we can take that, apparently. Anything else here? An empty green jade bowl. There's a bedroom. Uh, paintings? So one of the people who was here, either the, the lady with the dog or the man with the car, is a, a painter, I'm guessing. Um, can we go through one of these doors? Oh. Not that door end of the hall okay so it looks like we actually have to go through this door the ghost's not gonna let us go through a different one. Oh, hold up what's going what's going on here god grant me the serenity to accept the things i cannot change the courage to change the things i can and wisdom to know the difference huh okay there's ghosts here i mean we couldn't speak to ghosts before that isn't helping what, what isn't living one day at a time C can we logan yeah i thought we knew this guy no way that's you i'm hallucinating from hunger. we knew him we saw him Where in the, the bar hell have right you been man i've been worried about you he was the one outside the bar the one that had, had been an addict and didn't want to go in right at the start uh worried aren't you upset that i you know killed your brother uh, I've been possessed. Yeah, I know all about it. But you're okay now, right? You seem okay. Uh, wait, you know about that? There's something you're not telling me. You can say that. Look, it's complicated. Someone told me. Someone who was there. It's too much to get into right now. Who are your friends? I'm Eli Beckett. This is Montana. My name's Logan Brown. I used to buy too many drinks from your friend here. And now, I could really use some help. Uh, does it have to do with those ghosts over there? Hold on. You... you can see them. Sort of. Like, actually see them. Like, well, in a way. Sure. Kind of. Ghosts all look the same, don't they? Just what do you mean? Uh, they look like grey floating clouds. Every ghost we've seen looks like grey shapeless blobs. Uh, we don't see any human features. What are you seeing exactly? I see people. Two women, one man. Oh. They're confused and angry. Not exactly easy to talk to. Let me see if I understand. You can see these spirits, and you can talk to them. Yeah. I see. You are the one KK told us about. The Bestower. Yeah, uh, that's me. You know your stuff. You're here to help these ghosts pass on. That's right. Only things went a bit wrong. Oh. Wrong? Oh, God. Okay. Easy. Easy now. That was a bit scary. Shh. She's calm for now. It, I kind of need to focus. Can you help me or what? Yeah, maybe. Don't worry, we'll help you. Tell us what's going on first. What do you need us to do? We'll help you. <sighs> Thank you. Here's the plan. I need to know their names. Is the best way to get through to them. Names. Can you do that? Figure out their names. Uh, yeah, no problem. You sit tight. Um, you can't ask them yourself. Yeah, let's ask that because that's quite interesting. I've tried. They won't listen to me. Mm. Which is why I need their names. Oh, I see. I'm sure there are clues and things around the house. I'd go myself, but I'm kind of trapped. Yeah, okay, we got it. Thanks. Seriously. So, we noticed the, the initial A on the fridge downstairs, didn't we? So, 
one of them has got to begin with A. We won't be able to talk to these guys as we know already from, from earlier in the game. Weird seeing Logan here and that he's in, in with like the supernatural stuff as well. Can we go into these rooms yet? Oh, we can. Okay, it's a metal trash can. It looks to be full of ashes. From the consistency, it looks like notebook paper. Or at least it was. Okay, notebook paper. Can we... Oh, we, we don't... We didn't pick that up. Desk is heaped with science homework. Post-it note as the words buy earplugs written in very hard, angry letters. Uh, Fisherman's Guide to Common Northeastern Pike. An image of oppressive suburbia. Neat houses crammed closely together and a cat is there. Uh, the bed is not made. Uh, that is, you know, messy. Uh, nothing massively helpful there. Nothing there. Anything on the bookshelf? No. Okay. I wondered if we would find a, a name here, but it doesn't look like we're going to. Okay, well, let's try the other room then. See if there's anything in here. Ooh, okay. Interesting decor choice in here. Uh, anything? Comfortable chair padded with cushions and draped with warm blankets. Ah, a drawer. Poem piece of notepaper a poem is written on it for mary jane ah so one could be called mary jane may the roses that bloom from your beloved shell be as sweet and full of joy as the beautiful soul that left it behind or is that is is mary jane perhaps the dog because got a picture of a dog could be right it's a possible it's a possible name can we close that empty no we can't um cozy bed yeah peace uh can't interact with that there's plants growing on it a framed photo let's have a look at this ah oh, look it's i'm guessing that's the two of them empty in there overall mirror nothing else there can we look in here some clothes a beat up doll a ripped up umbrella okay uh nothing he we need in here okay heavy wooden closet we looked at that um Some clothes a beat up doll a ripped up umbrella clothes doll and an umbrella don't think that's going to be useful uh but we did get the poem okay um anything else downstairs uh maybe there's some clues in these that we didn't see so that says art R8, and we saw an A on the fridge, so maybe his name's Arthur or Artie or something. Don't know if I'm guessing Mary Jane is the dog. Uh, anything here? Not that I can see. Anything else in here? We've got that the A thing, so I'm guessing his name is like Arthur or something don't really see any other clues hmm okay I thought there might be more do you guys have any suggestions yes uh, what do you think we should do any thoughts on Logan he has remained at his post for days and yet he seems at peace he knows your hands killed his brother but bears you no ill will bestower or not that is a quality to be admired yeah I get that uh, what do you think of this place? I can sense an anger that permeates the walls, crying out to be unleashed or quenched. I would suggest the latter. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. What do you think we should do now? Logan is telling the truth. That much is certain. If names are what he needs, then names are what we should find. Yeah, okay. Naturally. We'll talk later. Uh, let's speak to Eli, and then I'm, I'm wondering if we can get into the garage or something. Uh, what do you think we should do? Can you fire read something Sure, me? but maybe we should move outside first. Playing with fire magic indoors is a bad idea. Okay. Uh, what do you think, you Logan? Knew before, right? Back when you were both mundane? They'll be different, I'll say that much. The power he's got is rare and powerful. He's connected to the world of the dead. He can see and talk to ghosts. He can help them. 
Of course, it looks like we've got to help him first. And that all seems very unexpected, actually. Uh, right, so... Right with you. He said to go outside to do this fire thing, right? So... Let's go. I wonder if we're going to find a name in the garage. I don't know if we can open this up. It's a heavy garage door. I would recommend not trying to lift that. You are of no value to us if you strain your back. Can, can you lift it? Because you were quite strong with the brick. Yes. Uh, apparently Naturally. not. Apparently not. All right, Eli. What's up? Uh, can you do the fire thing now? Don't see why not. What do you have in mind? Uh, can you see what was burnt in that trash can? Sure. Just a sec. Oh, cool. August the 22nd. Moving day. A bit far from campus, but it's mine. Art and Jess seem like an okay couple. That must be them. Art and Jess. Uh, I think. They're renting this room out for what my dad would have called a song. Oh, Dad, I miss you so much. Taking a full load of courses this semester. Can't lose my scholarship after all that's happened. Decided to keep this journal to keep myself focused. Keeping old Arabelle up on the shelf for inspiration. So there's another name. Uh, she's looking a little threadbare these days. So that's like a toy or maybe that doll that was mentioned in the wardrobe. Um, September the 3rd. Jess offered me a hit off a bong this morning at breakfast. Didn't realise they were such major potheads. Their dog named Mary Jane should have been my first clue. Right, okay. I swear Jess stokes more on that dog than she would her own kind. September 17th. The Eddings are out at some artist gallery opening thing. That dog is outside my bedroom door barking and whining while I'm trying to study biochem. Should I let her in? This is my Dana's studying hour. But hey, cute dog. So... I'm guessing the three people are Art, Jess, and Dana, and then Mary Jane was the dog, right? Uh, my physics textbook now smells like dog piss, stupid dog. I had to drag her out by the collar. Now she's howling outside my door. I'm blurring music, but it's not enough. I need to quiet. I need quiet. I need to focus. Art and Jess just came home. They are both high as hell. The dog shut up and became a perfect little angel. What the fuck? I think I know why this room was so cheap. September 18th, told Jess what happened, she just shook her head. She tells me my room is where the dog used to sleep and is probably just a little upset. Yeah, that makes two of us. September 19th, Art and Jess are out again, left in that clunker car with that oh so clever vanity license plate that Art loves so much. That barking rat is outside my door again, scratching and howling. This is impossible, I only just started my coursework and I'm already behind. September the 24th, fuck, fuck. That muck got in here, don't ask me how, she got a hold of Arabelle peed on her then chewed her arm off 19 years i've had that doll and she didn't get a scratch she couldn't last three weeks in this stupid house art is too toked up to care jess seems sorry it's hard to tell if it's her on the, or the weed she says she'll sew the arm back on for me but maybe she's not so bad october the third i want to scream arabelle is still in pieces the dog keeps barking wherever whenever they go out i haven't been able to study at all i can't stay here but i can't afford anywhere else I can't lose my scholarship. What the hell am I going to do? Dad, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> October the 23rd. I met this strange person on the bus today. I don't know why, but I ended up spilling my guts. I told something. Something I can't put in writing, but I know what to do. It's finally perfectly clear. Strange person is us, right, when we were possessed. Listen up, Reefer Dog. My GPA isn't going down. You are. So I'm guessing this Dana killed the dog. And then something happened with Art and Jess. Interesting. All right, then, guys. Well, I tell you what. We've got some names. We'll uh, maybe go back and speak to Logan and see what he thinks. But we'll do that in the next one. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.